Hi Beauts, Fanny Ann here and today we're going to be looking at awkward, funny online dating conversations and we're going to try and give them some advice from the conversations they've had how to not do it again and then later on we're going to be looking at things that I've been sent so it's going to be fun, let's do this. I think I love you, excuse me? Well, you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. I like to strip you down and butter you like a slice of Wonder Bread and shave your armpits and pour honey all over your naked body and for the next two weeks pretend I was a hungry bear. No thanks. Uh, what is Wonder Bread for one? I don't know what that is. Okay, just a little tip. Telling someone you want to strip them down and cover them in butter is probably not the best thing to say when you first talk to someone. I mean, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to get you anywhere, unless they're really into butter. I mean, she might not like honey, she might be allergic to honey, she might not appreciate bears in any way, shape or form, and you want to pretend to be a bear for two, how long was it? For two weeks. You want this person to be covered in honey and butter for two weeks. I mean, that's going to start smelling and become really sticky, and she's just going to get stuck to things all the time and become all like gross. I'm not surprised that she said no at the end there. Listen up and listen good, my dark-haired goddess. I nearly had a heart attack when your match popped up as I have dreamt of the day that we would meet. I want you to know that I would roll down a mountain covered in blistering hot coals in order to fight a pack of 15 rabid chapin um, chimpanzees Japanese, <laughs> um, to death with, with one arm tied behind my back while blindfolded, armed with only a plastic spatula, just to have a chance for you to sit on my face. <laughs> The fuck did I just read? Wow. I mean, you know, dark haired goddess is quite oh, this person. A bit poetic. And then he goes into that. Fifteen rabid chimpanzees. It's a very precise number. Fifteen. I mean you could have said twenty or ten, but you went for fifteen. One arm tied behind my back, armed with a plastic spatula, and blindfolded. If he does this, then if, in all fairness, she should sit on his face because he's earned it. This guy's a legend. <laughs> you ever think you and your leather couch are the same because you're both made of skin? I suddenly feel so connected to the chair I'm sitting on. But that would also mean I'm the same as a cow, right? So I'm not sure how I feel about that. My neighbour Gary keeps telling me to turn down the music. Any ideas? Does that mean you're listening to bad music? Any ideas are meant for killing Gary? Now, this back and forth. I mean, she carries on. She carries on talking to him after the couch comment. And she's like, you know what? Yeah, I do feel close to my couch. She carries on chatting to him. And then uh, he goes on about how he's going to kill his neighbour. Yeah, tips for that. Don't, you know, start conversations off by talking about couches. And don't say you want to kill your neighbour. Have you ever been in love? No reply. What did it feel like? No reply. What are you up to? No reply. Three weeks later. Where do we go from here? No reply. If you don't get a reply the second time, stop. Walk away. Leave it. Because she clearly doesn't want to talk to you. <sighs> Damn, girl. You stupid fly. Let me pull up onto that bumper and smack that monkey. Winky face. I think the less said about that one, the better. Okay, this one is... um. This one's great. <laughs> I'd love to tie you up in my basement and have my way with you. No way, that came out wrong. I don't even have a basement. What I meant to say was, I'd love to get to know you better. Rape jokes, really? It's not rape if you enjoy it. I would just love to meet up with you and get acquainted. Are you down? I promise not to tie you up unless you want me to. Ow, go die. Fatty and pro tips. Don't tell someone that. Don't do it in general. Unless they generally want you to do it. Just don't do that. Don't talk about it. Don't do it. Don't fantasise about it. Just stop. Just stop. And if you're going to say you're going to tie someone up in your basement, at least have a fucking basement. This one is... I can't believe someone said this. The first time I saw your profile, I thought you were wearing a mask. Maybe it's because I was looking at the thumbnail. Then I clicked on the bigger picture. I guess you are really black then. ridiculous thing to say to someone. That's something you think to yourself. 
Like, she clearly thought that to herself and went, oh, I guess he's actually black then. I'm going to tell him that. Why would you tell him? Why would you even think that's a good, I think, like, good idea to do? What the fuck, man? <laughs> this is a great line. There will only be seven planets left after I destroy Uranus. I feel obligated to call the police. <laughs> if anything, it's a funny pickup line. Clearly she didn't go for it. Maybe next time, mate, yeah? Maybe next time. Try it with someone else. Come down to England. Come to Essex. Go out on a Saturday night. I guarantee you'll pull. Hey, smiley face, 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 smiley face. That was an inappropriate amount of smileys. Sorry. I never know how many to do. Awkward face. Oh. Awkward. Sad face. Six and a half hours later. Do you think if two people made out hard enough they could switch brains? Generally the question he asked her after that, after them smiley face catastrophes, he asked her that question. I, I mean, what do you answer to that? Yes? When I was on dating websites, or a particular one, uh, I would send the most embarrassing, funniest, weirdest profile pictures of other people I could find to my friends. And here is a little compilation of the ones I found and also some of the things people have said to me. So this guy said to me, <clears throat> hi, how are you? I was wondering what your opinion would be on a relationship where the guy is faithful and loyal, but he likes the idea of his girlfriend sleeping with other guys and fantasises about watching them. And I said, I'm not going to lie, that's not my sort of thing. And he said, would you potentially consider doing something like that? And I said, no, I would not. And he carried on trying to convince me for a good two days. I'm sorry, no. And then had a man say to me, Hi there, I saw your profile and thought you looked amazing. Saw you're online now too. I'll be honest, I'm a married American guy, now living in the UK, and I'm looking for a kinky girl for fun with no with a good looking older guy. He doesn't have a profile picture by the way, so great. No games, just a hot girl I can spoil and have amazing sex with. You interested to know more? Let me know. And I said, that's not really my scene, but thanks. Now, I love that this this guy automatically assumes that I'm kinky, just automatically, it was like, I'm looking for a kinky girl, she looks like it, let's give her a little message, bit offended if anything, and he's married, so, what a knob. I mean, I once had someone ask me um, if they could tickle me, and I said, I think my reply was, what, just to be annoying or to make me laugh, like, what, what are you talking about? And he told me it was his fetish was to tickle people and whether I'd be interested in him tickling me. I wasn't. I declined. Anyway, back to the real world of real dating and interaction with me and you whilst talking to a camera. Hi, hey camera. Thank you so much for coming and seeing me today. I really appreciate it. Push all those lovely little buttons at the bottom. Like, share, subscribe, fave. They said subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, fave, all that jazz. Remember to follow your dreams no matter how small they are. And I'll see all of you beautiful people in the next one. Bye! See this top here with cats, neon cats. It's actually a pair of leggings and I cut the crotch out and made a top out of it because I'm a fucking genius.